Okay, we're going to continue on where we left off, and um, we're on tangents of a circle, or tangents to a circle, on page 436, 11.4, and we'd actually done um, the first one, and we'd done this example, and we'd done the second type, a little subheading, and we'd done this example, this was just the last thing we did. So what I'm going to do is, if, if you could take down the third subheading, tangents to a circle from a point P not on a circle, take that down as a subheading, this is still your title, and... Um, it has a yellow box here with the um, perpendicular distance formula on it, but we've actually we've taken that down before, so there's no needs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this example. So if you take it down after you've taken down the little subheading, um, we'll take this down and then I'll give you a question similar to it to try. All right? Okay. So the question asks us, the question asks us, find the equation of, it, of the tangents to the circle x squared plus y squared equals 5 from the point 5, 0. Okay, so from the point five zero. So again, I do a sketch. They've done the sketch out for you in the example, but they might necessarily give it to you. So what we've got is a circle. So we draw our circle. We know from this circle, we always put in a bit of information if we can. We know the center of this circle. It might be a bit rusty, but it's zero zero. We also know one other thing, or two other things. We know that this point five zero, we know that it's roughly over here somewhere. And what we're looking for is the tangents that go through this point that touch this circle. So that would look something like that. And there'd be another one up here. There'd be two of them. Okay, there, be, there could be no other tangent because it can only touch the circle at one point and has to be a straight line through this point. We then, we know something else. We know from this circle that that perpendicular distance or the distance from the center to the edge of the circle is square root 5. And the same here that's going to be square root 5 as well. And that's because if that was 25, this would have been 5. If that was 36, it would have been 6. But it's 5, so it's square root 5. And we leave it like that. And what we're looking for is the equ equation of these tangents. So this is the equation of a line. So it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, we usually need a point and the slope, but we only have a point. There's no other way of finding the slope. Okay, we don't have a way. We don't have two points here, and we could use the perpendicular. It's not like that. So if you have this particular type of question, this is how you proceed. You write out that. Then you fill it in. So this is x1, y1. So y minus 0 equals m. We just leave m as m, x minus 5, and we multiply this out. So it becomes y is equal to mx minus 5m. And we bring everything to the side that x is positive. So leave that in mx minus y minus 5m equals 0. And that is now the equation of both those lines. So mx minus y minus 5m equals 0. That's the equation of that line, but it's also the equation of that line as well. Okay, obviously there's going to be something, there's going to be two different m's here that we find out. But for the time being, that's it. Okay, now, what we know is, if that's the equation of this line, we have a formula, it's the yellow box that they showed you above the example. The formula, the distance, the perpendicular distance from a point to a line is given by the formula in the yellow box. And we already know that that distance is square root 5 because we have the radius. We wrote the, we did this diagram out when we had this when we had these pieces of information. So what we do is the point is 5, 0. That's x1, y1. Or sorry, the point isn't 5, 0, because we're going from now 0, 0. So 0, 0. For the distance from that point to this line, and we know that this line is here. So we say a is m, b is minus 1, and c is minus 5m. Remember, a is the number of 40x, the coefficient of x, b is the coefficient of y, and c is the other term. Okay. So we have that, those three pieces of information, and we have x1 and y1. We then go to our perpendicular distance formula. That's given to you in your maths tables. So the perpendicular distance, remember those straight lines, ax1 plus by1 plus c all over the square root a squared plus b squared. That's in your maths tables. We carefully fill that out. So we have a, which is, looking back on the previous page, a is m times 0 plus minus 1 times 0 minus 5m all over the square root of m squared plus minus 1 squared. 
We'll simplify that. We get minus 5m on the top in those straight lines. Keep them there. And we get the square root of m squared plus 1 because minus 1 squared is plus 1. Now at this stage, we know that should equal um, square root 5 because that's given in the question. I say given in the question, we discovered it from, the, we knew that the radius was 5, that's the same as the radius. Then, going from our thirds, if we have thirds on both sides, once they're at both on opposite sides, we can square both sides, so that becomes 25 m squared over m squared uh, plus 1 equals 5. Again, I'll put in a note, square both sides. We then just solve it, so we get 25 m squared equals 5 m squared plus 5. Bring the m's to about one side, we get 20 m squared equals 5. m squared equals 5 divided by 20, which is a quarter. So I'll just move that down there for you. And if m squared is a quarter, m, the square root of a quarter, is actually a half. Or minus a half. Okay, because a half squared is a quarter and minus a half squared is a quarter also. We're not dealing in terms of distance or length yet, we're just dealing in terms of slope. So there's our two slopes. So to finish off, we can either put our slopes back into this here, or we can just go and use our equation of a line formula, which we know anyway and it's just as easy. So I'll just scroll over here and just get this out of the way. Okay, so y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And when we say m is equal to a half, we'll do m is equal to a half. Right? Now we know we're using the point 5, 0 because the line goes through that point, remember, over here. So we're looking at the equation of this line, 5, 0, and now we have the two slopes. So one of them's going to have the positive slope of a half, and one of them's going to have the negative slope of a half. And all we do is we fill that in. So y minus 0 equals to a half times x minus 5. We multiply the 2 up here, it becomes 2y equals 1 times x is x, 1 times minus 5, minus 5. And we'll bring everything to one side, x minus 2y minus 5 equals 0. That's one equation. Okay? And our second equation is when m is equal to minus a half. So again, we're going to do y minus 0 equals to minus a half times x minus 5. Very similar to the last one. Multiply the 2 up here, it becomes 2y equals minus x plus 5. I'm going to bring everything to this side first, and we get x plus 2y minus 5 equals 0. And that's my second equation. And all you were asked was find the equation of the two tangents, well, of the tangents, but you know it's two, and we've got that. Here is one answer, and here is another answer. Okay, so if you take down that example under the subheadings that I told you, and I'm gonna give you another question very similar to that, and again, through the, as when you're taking this down, obviously you can pause the, pause the video whenever you want to take anything down. Um, I'm gonna to try to be as clear as possible. It's difficult but I'm get, I'm get, I'll get used to it. Um, I, I used paper before but I think I'm going to use these whiteboards now. Alright so take that down and if you have any questions um, please do ask by commenting on the assignment. Okay.